Today is the day that I finally fix this thing. Guess what's hiding under there? I'm guessing the title's going to give you some kind of clue. The uh, the front of it's there, the screen protector, I guess. Um, but it's time to move it. I need to move everything off here. This is the hard drive that I've gone with. Um, praying it works. It's second hand, 220 gigabytes. It's all I need, really. But meh, should be alright. Need to move all this crap off my desk before I move this. Alright, I've moved all this to one side, so I'm hoping this is going to be alright. Oh, I can't get my arm behind here. I've been dreading this. Oh god, that's, that doesn't sound good. I'll move it from down here. There's a reason I have it covered, by the way. Because, like, I, like I've shown you, um, the, the screen is off and I really don't want to make it any dirtier than it is. It's starting to look a bit like an iMac now. Now you can see the base of it. Ooh. I am just a bit nervous to take this downstairs. I really don't want to drop it. I don't want the screen to fall out either. I put too much pressure on this damn screen. Come on, we're nearly there, halfway. <sighs> I did clean the table yesterday. Just for the sake of... Oh, come on. <laughs> I've got a note. I'm not, I'll read that off camera. Oh, don't trap my arm in there. That's not fun. Well, it made it. I guess I can take the jacket off it now. Um, made enough space for this to stand. It's very, very wide. It's bigger than my 2009 one. And it's only a year younger. Um, but I guess I can take this off now and expect the screen to fall out. Because I took the screws out ages ago. Oh, look, you can see them in my pyjamas still. Oh. But this... Um... Ignore the dog ball. I need to figure out how to get under here. Um... And there's a, I think there's a ribbon cable somewhere. And then I've got to get behind this to swap out the hard drive. I'm going to have a shower first though, so bear with me. This is the first time I've ever done this. And I've got a feeling it's going to be really hard to film. My finger's going to get so in the way. But that's the first thing I need to remove. Um, I believe it's uh, just known as the vertical sink cable. It's connected to the screen, I believe. Yeah, you can see it going up here, just about. It's really hard to get the camera at the right angle. And um, yeah, so that's one of the first ones I need to remove. Um, there's another one just down the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's, oh my God, this is so hard to film. Right down there, look, see where there's a cable. Um, the very bottom left corner, that's going to be my second one to remove, and that's the backlight power cable. Um, there's another one in the middle. Uh, where are you? I think it's where the ribbon cable is here, look where all the dust is on top, pile this chunky cable. Well, I say chunky, chunky is in wide, but it's not really like thick. This ribbon cable needs to come out. Uh, that's display port cable. Uh, there's a handle just underneath that locks it in. And then you can see uh, this thin cable here. That needs to come out too. I'm really sorry about this dust and like grimy crap everywhere. This is how this has been before I've got it. I'm obviously going to clean it up and make it look nice. But yeah, these all need to come out. That cable down there. I'll try to get it to focus. Right down there, where it's just sort of, um, yeah, there's a bit of a tab on it. This is making me out of breath just thinking about doing this. I'm a bit nervous. Right, so I've managed to take this off. It's uh, now hanging loose off here. You can see this cable here. This was um, on up here somewhere in this port. I've got the torch light exactly on right now. Uh, the next one is 
this one that I tried to identify earlier. Um, see, it's got a bit of a, a clip on it. It's quite interesting having it open like this. I'm getting close already. Um, and this is um, my next plan of action after. And here's this um, bloody key wolf that I was saying. Then I'll be able to get the screen off and clean it. Because it's so disgusting behind here. But bearing in mind this Mac is about 10 years old. So, you know, it's interesting stuff. Can't wait to get you out there. Bloody thing. You don't do anything. Right. Now this one was a bit um, stiffer to get out. But it's out now. Thank the Lord. I'm not sure how easy it is to see this, but I'm aiming for the ribbon cable now. And I'm pretty sure where that gold bit is, um, just underneath, is what's holding it in place. And that has to be open before you can take it out. So that's my next plan. So this is what it looks like um, once you've got the screen off. Um, I think I actually brought the wrong size hard drive, which I'm not overly embarrassed about. I'm going to have to go get a different one. Because I can't be bothered to uh, basically wedge one in there and let it dangle otherwise. Um, so it looks like it is the bigger size hard drives that fit in. Because it's, it's right here. And for size comparison, let me just... You know, it's... Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. But that's not a major issue because this thing only costs like um, £6 or something. Um, I'm going to go get another one and I'll be back. Um, hopefully I can find a, a, a decent one at CEX. The only thing I'm worried about putting this thing back together is going to be the ribbon cable. It goes in this golden slot. Um, it was easy getting it off, which is normally a sign, for me at least, that it's going to be even harder to get it back on. And the ones that are easy to get back to get, well, well hard to get off, sorry, um, like these... I found these quite tricky because they were in awkward places. They're going to be easy, but I think that's going to be a pain. Um, I've already took out the uh, the screws that you see these holes here that are missing screws, both sides. So this can kind of just lift out theoretically, but there's a few more cables I need to be careful of before I do that too. I think they're like something to do with this bit. Probably should recap on the video I'm referencing to do this by, but. I'll be back shortly. Right. Since I can kind of get this out now, I'm going to get this out before I go get my drive. So there's a couple of cables on the end. Um, these two here, the data connection and the, I believe it's a power thing. Um, there's another one I need to be careful of while moving things around, but I should be able to get it out in theory just by uh, taking those out. I think it's loose enough now. There might be something else I need to watch out for. I'll let you know if there is. I'm, I'm kind of impressed right now because I've done the thing that I wanted to do like months ago. But I'm also impressed that this thing has a uh, legitimate Apple one terabyte. I thought it might have been swapped out before. Uh, it might not have been a genuine part. Um, but this looks genuine, but it's a shame it's dead. Because <laughs> it, it was actually a terabyte. I don't know if I can get that to... There we go. 1.0 TB. Um, I'm kind of upset that this doesn't work. I mean, I was when I got it, to be honest. I, 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 I was so uh, this Mac believing that it worked. Um, but never mind. Maybe uh, I can see what I can harvest off this uh, somehow. I'll get an adapter or something. And yeah. But I'm going to go shopping for a new Mac hard drive. Not that that makes a difference, Mac. PC. We'll see if I can uh, see gate is what I'm preferably looking for then hopefully. I'll let you know how I get on. So this is what it looks like without the hard drive in. Um, still yet to get one. Um, but literally it has these things on the bottom. So let me turn it around. That's the top where it's mounted. But the bottom of the hard drive, you see these? These need to be swapped out. Um, it's so much easier to highlight which things I mean. And they just sort of wedge in here um, for the next one. So I'll have to swap them out. That's not going to be a problem. I'm back from the almighty of shops. I'm going to go show you what I've got in here. Um, 
it's nothing too exciting. It's half the size of what um, it originally was. Um, in fact, here may be best. This is where I was kind of researching earlier. Uh, my iPad's still there. Balls everywhere as well, but I don't actually need all those. It's just like an aesthetic, really. Uh, can I get it out without breaking it? Right. It's nothing fancy. I'm praying that it works. It looks okay. It's a Seagate. I kind of went with maybe it'll be good if I go with the same make, the manufacturer. It is half a size, but I'm not looking to upgrade here. I'm just looking to make it work, so... Let's see if I can get this um, done. It's taken me absolutely forever to find the right fixture, what well, the fitting for the screws, but they're finally coming out. Yes, we're getting there. Taken the sort of little feet out, and now I'm putting them into the new one. Um, that's the other one. Um, it was the same screw as the last thing. Right, so I've uh, reattached the bracket on the top. And this is basically ready to go back in now, but I want to make sure I give this a good clean before I uh, put it back together because I think that might give me a disadvantage if I just leave it as it is. There's some really grubby parts, mainly this area where the uh, hard drive actually sits as well. And considering this is new to me at least, I want it to be nice and pristine. Um, a few other little bits, but I'll, I'll have a brush around like down here as well. So that's my new drive in place. Just need to put the screen back on now. Note though, um, I have been careful not to trap this this cable. I'm not sure what it does, but the tutorial that I watched says don't trap it behind the hard drive, so don't do that. But these are all back in place. I probably should make sure that's definitely clipped in because I could see some of the contacts then. Um, this other little thing as well. Don't forget that one. There's three to go on it, um, but it's it's not screwed back in yet. Um, I'm just about to do that. Right, so it's all nice and secure in place, and now it's time to put the screen back together, which is the bit that I'm actually kind of dreading the most. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm most worried about this um, ribbon cable, putting that back in place. And maybe this one as well. Um, where is it? This bit, what I'm shining my torch onto. Um, there was one that had to go back in there as well. That might be a bit fiddly, but I think the other two up this corner might be easy to do, and then it's just a case of... Uh, screwing it back in which might be more of an ass than the than it sounds. I've actually done the uh, the worst bit now so it should be plain sailing from here hopefully that ribbon cable is back in place. One I'll probably lecture from me for propping this open like this but I've got that one in I'm getting happy. That's it and as if by magic they're all uh, back together. Just hoping it works now. Obviously I'll have to reinstall the OS. This is still looking a bit filthy behind here, but I did my best with it. Um, oh, definitely gave the fan a good clean anyway. Now it's time to get the uh, screen screwed back in again. I think I've figured out an easier way of uh, doing this. So there's four screws either side of the screen. Got one here at the top left. Uh, there's one here. Further down. There's two more at the bottom. Now the best ways to do this is to start with the ones, like the second ones in. So not the very top, but here. And then do the same both sides. These ones are a little bit higher, but that'll align the other screw holes. So then you're not making extra holes. Where's the other one? There it is. There's one. Can't really see it. There. But you can see it's a bit more aligned like when um i was first putting these screws in like these holes were pretty much just covered because it, it doesn't quite hold the weight and these ones here at the top and the bottom they have magnets right here this silver uh, rectangle is a magnet so it's going to get hard much harder to get them screws in if you don't start from these points Okay, so it's time to find out if I've done a good job or not. Bit apprehensive about this, don't know what's going to happen. Could explode, might not. Power button's on the uh, left side on these. Let's see if I can get it to do anything. This hasn't been on for a good six months. I'm hoping it doesn't just stick at a white screen. 
because that's all it did last time. Come on, find that beautiful fresh hard drive. Notice I haven't put the uh, actual screen protector over it yet, just in case I have to get back into it. Probably shouldn't have screwed it really yet, but... Come on. Come on. I feel like it's figuring out what to do. Oh. Let me just go grab a keyboard. I appear to have made some progress and it was as simple as shutting it down a few times because I was still figuring it out what to do and basically just holding the alt key um, after the uh, startup chime which is you know the sort of F chord thing um, but now I need to do this and I'm a bit like Ooh. obviously um, it says Windows because whoever had this hard drive before must have used it as a, uh, a Windows PC um, or with a Windows PC laptop. Um, I preferably want to get this to OS um, 10 point something um, whatever this thing's capable of. So I'm gonna have a look into the settings um, and I'll let you know what I find. Maybe getting somewhere. Ooh, literally just as um, I uh, started recording. Um, but yeah, Control and R I did a bit of research and that's got me to this point and I'm hoping that this is what's going to save my skin. I just put my uh, password in for the Wi-Fi and we have a, a progress bar. I uh, wonder well how, how long this is going to take. Saying 24 minutes. I hope that's 24 minutes. If that's hours, I don't know if I've got the patience for that. I think that this is actually going to take a whole day, so um, maybe see you tomorrow. Looks like I'll be going the long way around, uh, basically transferring all of these files to, uh, well, from an external hard drive to a, a physical hard drive on my Mac Mini, which is sat here. Um, so I can then have this empty Seagate to use as a, uh, basically a backup drive from this iMac. Um, so then um, I can use that backup to uh, kickstart the uh, iMac I've got downstairs, the uh, 2010. But this is still counting all the items it's got to transfer over. I hope I really don't overwhelm it because it's uh, 420, 450 gigabytes used. Um, so it's a big transfer, very big transfer, I've lost my, it's at 20,000 nearly items to transfer, I think it could do it, this iMac's, uh, iMac, this Mac Mini's from uh, late 2014 so it's, it's decent spec, um, have I still got it open, no I haven't, that's utility, uh, let me show ye. Yeah, so that's my specs for this, so it should be, uh, should be good. Ignore my uh, hard drive things. I partitioned it weird when I did this uh, last time, but it, it works, so it's fine. I kind of hope it's joking, but we'll see. It's settled down now to something a bit more reasonable. I feel like it's probably still going to count down maybe to like six or seven hours, possibly less. Uh, I mean, it's just gone to seven now. I feel like it's gonna be more, maybe five hours. It's done a gig already, and that was in less than a minute, so it's probably not even gonna be an hour. This Mac's crazy, it just doesn't like to overwhelm itself. <laughs> I kind of want to watch, but I don't think I want to sit here for that long. So after trying to um, use that external hard drive as a time capsule, that didn't work. It didn't even see it. Um, but this looks like a better option. So what I've done now is I've gone back to the uh, internet backup, um, well recovery, system recovery. 
and it's uh, actually making progress with a wired connection to the internet rather than Wi-Fi. Um, I did think it might have a better chance and um, this is kind of proving it. I'm just going to wait and see what it does because um, well, it doesn't look like it's going to take too long actually which is great news because I was convinced that this was going to um, take a lot longer than this since it wanted to take 24 hours yesterday over Wi-Fi. It's nearly there. One minute apparently. I'm talking outside. Come on. Oh yes. We're back up and running. I can't believe I could have done this last night. I literally could have dug out a freaking cable. Wasted so many well, so much time just backing up stuff I didn't need to. Well I say that now, I've, I've probably still run into some errors. This isn't definite yet. So my advice, if you ever get really stuck with um, iOS problems, not being able to boot up a Mac, wired internet recovery. That's my advice. Ignore all the other forums. Some of it might be inf uh, useful, but you know, this is um, progress. This is going to take a bit longer, so I'm going to uh, just cut for a bit. I think this means I've made it. I decided to go against using my uh, time capsule because um, I didn't really want to have the same things on the same Mac so I'm doing a fresh install of uh, High Sierra. Um, it did come up with uh, the utility screen. Um, oh my god, why does it ask you twice? Uh. Eh? Eh? I need to do some homework, one minute. Okay, so I made a fatal error last time. I need to go into disk utility first. Um, because um, I think the last, the hard drive that I've installed probably supported Windows before, so it's gonna need formatting before I can do anything like reinstalling the OS. Like I said before, I was gonna do the time machine backup thing, but I don't really want it to be the, a rinse repeat of what I've got upstairs. In fact, I'm kind of thinking of selling this once I've done it, so we'll see where this goes. If um, the mouse lets me do anything. Okay. Right. Bear with me. As I suspected, uh, this drive that I've installed was previously used with Windows. As you can see, it says Windows NT file system. don't really know much about that. I just know that that's not the format I need. So I need to dig around and probably erase that and figure out what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm actually kind of excited now because I didn't think this was going to work as, uh, as fluidly as it has. Um, I've just managed to format the original drive, which is got a really long name for some reason but now it's completely empty um, what I've done for now is I'm running um, the uh, the backup the, the time capsule from my external drive and uh, that's why there's all these different partitions uh, down here like uh, I think it's I believe it's on this one um, certainly looks like it and then that's the uh, the backup this is just nothing basically um, but I'm so glad but I think what I might do um, for the sake of um, you know having it proper so then the system is running from the correct hard drive sort of thing is actually do that whole process again but direct it to um, this uh, internal drive but yeah thanks for watching it's it's been a bit of a, a ride trying to get this to work so glad i've finally done it um but yeah cheers <laughs>